Bush's thing is keep working on that because everybody understands whenever we have an alarm go off and we have the diverter shoot take down, where do the bad parts go? They go right into the box to go to our customer so our customer can call us about it. So that's why it's critical diverter shoots work. Then we have the reject uh, routines for the robots and the reject and the diverter shoots work. Okay, there's there's a reason for it and it's to protect our customer. Okay. All right, so we were just talking about Porsche and how they started and after 44 years made the first car without a defect. All right, so in a snapshot, a Porsche company in the years up, up to the late 1980s shows a classic German model of successful industrial capitalism, especially of a successful middle stand, the mid-sized engineering firm, which had been the great strength of the German economy. A second feature marking Porsche as a classic German firm was the intense focus on product itself its superior performance being the firm's most important concern. Yet the third feature of Porsche marking its German pedigree was their organizational chart, which was entirely de departmental and steeply hierarchical. Each major activity was conducted inside its own organizational unit, and every important decision was referred upward through layers of management. Careers moved up in departmental hierarchies as well. Activities, activities needing input of many departments typically preceded by passing the work, a design and order of physical product from one department or function to the next, usually with delays due to the batch and queue nature of the system. A special feature of Porsche's organizational structure introduced in rigid, rigidity beyond the German norm was a consequence of its second business as an engineering consultant. Auto and companies and large parts makers often wanted help in an aerotechnical problem. The knowledge base to address these problems, suspension dynamics, engine vibration, and minimum weight body structures, for example, required deep depositories of know-how in each department ready for sale to outside organizations. All right, so, okay, so they obviously they're all set up to do everything the way the Germans are made to do it, focus on the product, be experts, and have, you know, pass it up the, pass it up the chain or move it over to the next hierarchy. So we'll see how they change that as the future grew for them.